Hello guys, it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful July day. And I hope and pray to all my American friends out there that you're having, well, that you had a restful or peaceful 4th of July holiday. And um, yes, and I hope you enjoyed some special moments and made some memories with your lovely families. Okay, so today is Wednesday the 5th of July and it is beautiful sunshine and today's video is going to be an unboxing. This one has been gifted to me by New Craft Day, okay? So, as usual, I will link all the products shown in today's video in the video description box along with a link to New Craft Day's online store and I will put any discount codes that I have um, in the video description box too, okay? So let's get started and see what I chose. I can't remember now guys, I can't remember what I chose, I'm terrible with the uh, my memory's not very good, I don't know. I think it's just tiredness. I can see I've got a cross stitch. And I've got one. Let me have a quick look. A sneak peek. One. Two. Three. Okay, so I have got three items to show you today. And I think I've got one cross stitch, one diamond painting. And then one paint by numbers. Brilliant. First and foremost, if you have not done so already, if you could just please like, subscribe, share, comment down below, follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgie's Diamond Art and hit that little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads. So, let's start off with the diamond painting first. Yes. I've got my tape measure here already. So, as a few of you know, I am really in into my off-canvas items at the moment. And this one just called out to me because I'm thinking of putting a few little ornaments outside in the garden over summer. So, let's see see what I chose so it comes with lovely little let me zoom you up a bit actually there we go there so it comes with a chain okay whoops this is a different chain to one that I'm, I've seen before. So it's just like a, a loop chain, is it called? There we go. Lovely. It's quite heavy as well, this chain. Okay. So there's the chain that it comes with. It's crystal rhinestone and special shapes. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. Standard tool kit, which is your pink pen, single placer, green bow, and your pink wax. That's all you need if you're new to diamond painting. Okay. And this is the ornament that I chose. So it is sort of like a stained glass effect, really. Whoops. And we've got a little frog sitting on a lily pad, a little lotus is that in the background and is it a, dra a dragonfly? But it's been done really, really clever because it really does look like stained glass. It really does. Okay, let me just see where the holes are. We've got the two holes up there and oh, it would help if I was holding it the right way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what am I like guys, what am I like, I was thinking to myself where's the symbols and everything and it's because I was holding it the wrong way round, 
but at least we know if the wind gets it and it turns it over you've got a pretty picture both sides there we go honestly it's been one of those days guys so <laughs> what a nincompoop honestly oh dear so yes it has its two little holes there I, if you can't laugh at yourself, then, you know, you can't take yourself too seriously, I don't think. So, we have our frog. We have the little lily pad there. The lotus. Dragonfly. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to look gorgeous once diamond painted. And I'm glad that it doesn't have the normal... Um, the normal clear backing actually because it makes it more realistic then doesn't it so yes let me give it a quick measure see what it's measuring at so the circumference is about 19 and a half centimeters i would say and uh Let's just have a look. It is acrylic, so it's quite thick. There is the symbols, very clear. From what I can tell, I think we have just, let's see, six. No, nope, seven crystals and rhinestone crystals and special shapes to put on. Although I can see only two places for specials there. But it's your project to do with as you wish. So if you wanted to put, make it a full drill, then you could. Or if you wanted to just follow how it's been charted, then you can also do that. It's up to you guys. But it is a really pretty, pretty little ornament. And once again, they do several variations of this as well. So let's get the fun and games and see. <laughs> I always have problems lifting the plastic. Hang on a second. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Yeah, nice thick layer of glue. And I just want to give it a smell. It's not too bad, but there is a bit of a pong to it. It's just not overbearing. Okay, so just be mindful when you're diamond painting that. I'll probably do this one outside actually in the garden. But isn't it beautiful, Mr. Froggy there and his friend? Don't frogs eat insects like dragonflies and stuff like that? I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at the diamonds that it comes with. Yes. So seven colours. So it wouldn't take long to do this. Maybe an afternoon if you wanted to get something quickly done. So we have black, let's have a look, a black diamond there, we have a pink diamond there, that's obviously for the lotus flower in the background, dark green, a blue, very light blue, another shade of green, an orange AB coated medium rhinestone there. There are more on the other side. There we go. And then we have just two little, well, large blue pearl domes there. Lovely. Look really nice diamonds okay 
as usual I will let you know the prices at the summary at the end of the video so I'm just going to pause you while I put this one away and get the next item out hold on one second So the next item I chose is a paint by numbers one, this one. And I chose this for my daughter to do, my eldest, because she likes doing the paint by numbers. So let's have a look and see if we can get it out and what it looks like. Wow, wow, wow. So there's our paints it comes with 22 colors lovely I'm liking the fact it's got this little holder now to hold the paints in place that's a good idea as well as so it's got a little cardboard holder let's have a look now let's see which one I chose wow I don't think I was expecting it to be as big as this so it's mr. Donald Duck yes and again, it's on that, I'm going to have to lift you up, guys. It's on that um, really soft canvas type. Well, it's almost like oil cloth um, canvas, actually. So there's the item number down there, along with the size, 50 by 50. And it's like four pictures in one. So we have Donald and Daisy, and it does have, sorry guys, it does have like a little shading difference as well. So, but this looks quite an easy-ish paint, to be honest, because there's not lots of little areas to do, you know. Let me just move you down so I'm holding you a bit easier and then this one is just Donald on his own looking a bit panicked because you know that's one thing that Donald du does brilliantly is panic isn't it so and then the top one is him laughing at some something and then that one is him just winking so yes this is very good I think very nice she just needs something to to get her mind going a bit because she's was very stressed out after with all the um, assessments before the end of her uni and now she just needs to come down and relax a bit so I think this is the perfect thing for her really it's not too difficult it's quite easy and I think it would be a lovely end result, to be honest with you. So, yes, this is 50 by 50 centimetres. I'm not going to get the paints out, guys, but we can clearly see there's no spillage there at all. I'm just wondering where... where the hang on one second because doesn't it usually come with um what's it called hang on one second guys okay guys i am back so i had a look there's the picture of what it should look like as the end result i had a look just to check the packaging because there's no actual paintbrushes, no kit that's come with it, so to speak. So I'm going to get on to New Craft Day and just let them know that there isn't any paintbrushes with this item. Because I'm pretty sure that like diamond painting and cross stitch, it's supposed to come with the tools that you need in order to do the project. So yes, literally this and... The beautiful colours is all that's in there. But you can see, let me just turn the light on, guys. Hang on. Yeah, so you can see we've got some ye lovely yellows, blues, and some pinks, and a red, and some whites and browns. It's 
some dark blues as well. So yes, but there's definitely no. Uh, there's definitely no. No brushes with it. So I will get on to New Craft Day and let them know. It doesn't bother me personally because we have loads in this house, like literally. But usually what it does come with is a kit very similar to this, which is where you have three paint brushes, all of different lengths. And that is usually what comes with it, along with some little hanging equipment there, hanging accessories for after you've finished. But yes. I will get onto them and let them know. Okay, hold on one second and I will move on to the next final project that I chose. Hang on. So, the next item I chose was a Joy Sunday kit and it's a cross stitch. Yes, 21 centimeters by 20 and it's called the Blossomed Lily. 14 count stamped Ada cloth so that is the final item and I saw it and I was just like oh that looks so gorgeous all those pinks and just really into these flat floral designs at the moment so as usual comes with in your little everything's gone everywhere now guys bear with me bear with me so as usual it comes in your standard little zip lock project bag and has all the instructions of what you need to do on the back of it so it's got how to choose your your strands how to um, start cross stitching and just all your stitches all the normal ones that are down below here it gives you a, a description of how to do it and even cleaning and maintenance so yes let's have a look at the picture which I chose which is gorgeous look at that so I'm thinking that we might have some back stitch here maybe in the middle around the little is it the nectar yeah it looks it doesn't it but I'm thinking that should probably be about it so yes isn't it gorgeous absolutely stunning that I could just it looks so realistic to me and I'm hoping the end result will be realistic as well. So this is like a little snack size cross stitch project I think. Shouldn't take you long to do. Although I'm looking down here we might have a bit of back stitch down here. We'll have a look at the chart in a minute. So yes, let's have a look. Okay, yes we do have two colours in back stitch. And then we have 23 colours in this little one. Wow, okay. It's got 87 stitches by 86 stitches. The Blossomed Lily is the name. And our chart is really nice and enlarged here. It's only on one piece of paper, which is okay, because it's only a small image. But yes, our back stitch is literally, it's barely nothing. It's just this little section around here. We've got two colours and that section there. And then a few little bits around the nectar. So yes, nice enlarged chart there. We can clearly see our, um, our symbols. Right, just had to watch, uh, just had to pause you for a second because the kids are at home today as the teachers are striking and they're making a fair bit of noise to say the least so nice enlarged printed chart there but it's always worth noting that the symbols on the printed chart are different to those on the actual Ada cloth don't ask me why it is just something that they do so there we go let's have a look now we'll just give the little 
floss a little bit of a shake there's not much floss here but actually so it wouldn't take long and there's our Ada cloth the blossomed lily so at first glance it does look a bit like confetti madness but if I zoom you up hang on a second you can see that they are all sort of interlinked which makes life a little bit easier so where you see the numbers here 04, 05, 07 that is a colour blocked area but yes I think these symbols the stamp is good quality we shouldn't have much of a problem because it's such a small size what I would do is I would eliminate the symbols first and then colour on the um, colour concentrate on the block symbols as after and then the final step is obviously to do the back stitch so but as I said there is hardly any back stitch on this one but I do want to practice my back stitch so it is a good little snack size one to practice it on so there's all our codes there okay and then our two back stitch so it has marked it a bit has it marked it no it hasn't it hasn't marked where we back stitch because there's no point because once we stitch it you're not going to see it anyway so yes But I think this is going to be a good little snack size in order to practice that back stitch as well for me. I just need to get over my fear of it. That's what I need to do, guys. <laughs> okay, so it is just a gorgeous little project there. Let's have a look at the floss the exciting one so this is a 14 count so let's just get this and put it like that because I don't like putting the stamp clear on the table okay so let's have a look we have greens the lime green there some reds pinks creamy colors there as well but it's all going to be reds pinks and greens on this one so lovely we have an orange there and we've got our two needles in here as well so lovely lovely colours there and there so it shouldn't take long at all to complete this it really shouldn't because it's such a small little project and it's only a partial it's not full a full stitch but yes, I think it's going to look gorgeous. Lots of green tones in there. Okay, right. I'm going to hop off onto their website now. New Craft Day's website. Get the prices for you. And I will be back in one second. Right, so I have been on the website. And the prices for the products that I have shown in today's video are as follows. And this is... Uh, on the 5th of July 2023 so if you're looking at this video in the future then the prices may vary they might they may go up they may go down I have no idea so I will put the uh, discount code I think I do have one for new craft day in the video description as I said before but the prices are so for the gorgeous the blossomed lily is on the website $2.77 for that one 
and for the paint by numbers 50 by 50 centimeters twelve dollars and seven cent and then for the gorgeous fog on the lily pad stained glass effect ornament eight dollars fifty two cent okay so thank you for joining me for today's unboxing i hope and pray that you all have a blessed remainder of your day and that yeah that you have a really good relaxing holiday in the Amer in america and uh yes i'm exhausted guys i am really tired today because as i said kiddies at home and just just life really but anyway if you could like subscribe share comment down below follow me on tiktok and instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and hit the little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads okay and please give me a thumbs up for sure because that really helps my videos on the algorithm yes we're all talking about the algorithm <laughs> okay guys and i will speak to you all soon bye for now god bless you all bye